That's right. We're here at New on Capitol Hill. And at the beginning of the pandemic, they mainly focused on takeout. Then they were able to add cocktails to go. Now they have this outdoor seating area. But they say even with all of this, it's been a struggle. And they also add that they know for small businesses unable to make these kind of maneuvers, it's even worse. For restaurants, it's been a roller coaster of changes. I get why some businesses just have to close because it's exhausting when you're just running so hard and you're feeling like you're just going backward. Uen Win offers global cuisine, specializing in street food from around the world here at New. In order to stay open, they've had to pivot plenty of time since March. We're losing decent amount of money. We're using our own saving to kind of prop it up. These are not corporations. These are the fa restaurant you know down the street. This is the diner. This is your favorite pub. The president and CEO of Washington Hospitality Association says they conducted their own survey, reaching out to restaurants statewide and found more than 2,000 had closed. Most were small, independent businesses. And then a really high number of them based in the ethnic menus in various ethnic categories. And so those have been the hardest hit businesses so far. It becomes really, really difficult for the mom and pop immigrant uh, businesses to pivot in this time. She says the small businesses now boarded up used to bring diversity and uniqueness to the city. And when it's entirely collapsing, then uh, what is the future going to look like after this is all said and done? Now, what's kept you going? Well, oh, a lot of it is my staff. She also says it's her restaurant's concept, which is about the community. I want to try as hard as I can to still be here for the community when this is all over. According to the Hospitality Association, 46% of Washington restaurant owners surveyed said they need additional relief packages from the federal government. They add that if that doesn't happen, they doubt they'll still be in business six months from now. Live in Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.